My great-grandparents were part of what Tom Broca branded their generation, um, the greatest generation. They were indeed the greatest generation. The millennials will be labeled, let's, I'm going to be frank, the worst generation. Um, the reason why I say that is because the greatest generation, they knew what it was like to be patriotic for your country. For a lot of men that entered World War II, they felt it was their obligation to sign up for the war or sign up for the military after they turned 18. For a lot of men, they felt it was their obligation to their country to sign up for war, to defend their country. But now, a lot of men are, are wimps. A lot of men don't want to join the military anymore because they're afraid they'll get hurt. Compared to a lot of men from the greatest generation who, didn't, who, who, who knew that they were putting their lives on the line. And even if they died, their deaths wouldn't be in vain. Now, there are some men who do join the military of the younger millennial generation. Some. When I say some, I mean some. The majority of millennial men don't want to join the war. I've been considering joining the Coast Guard. But these decisions aren't made lightly. You really have to think about it before you join the military. Now, the greatest generation, and even if people didn't join war because they had families that they were taking care of, they found a way to support the military. They, they bought war bonds or they, or they got the family together to get scrap metal to donate, or they donated their personal jewelry to the army so they could use it for bullets. People actually done something for the military at home, but now we don't do that anymore. What do we do? We thank the military by saying thank you for your service, but then we never do nothing in return for them. We don't volunteer for them. The Americans at one time used to volunteer for the USO. Like ordinary Americans that were band, band musicians would volunteer for the USO to do USO shows at home for the men that were on leave from the Army, the Navy, you name it. But now we don't see that anymore. Now we see professional celebrities doing USO shows, not ordinary Americans. So, the point being is that the greatest generation is the greatest generation. They actually done something for their country. They actually contributed something for their country. Millennials, I have to say it, but we're contributing shit to this country. Absolute fucking shit. We're doing nothing for our country. We're, we're, we're doing very little for our country. We have to do a lot more for our country. Even if that's putting our lives on the line. And honestly, if you do have a great-grandparent or have a neighbor that's a part of the greatest generation, record them telling their war stories that they were uh, a military member. Because those stories seem to be continued to be told throughout history and through time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See ya.